I'm Preston Spratt, and we're at Sprattronics Learning Lab in Greenville, South Carolina. This is our unboxing video for the Spike Prime Kit. And so this would be the very first step you would take with our LEGO Robotics program. Once you receive your Spike Prime Kit in the mail, you'll get a box like this, and we're gonna go through the steps of how to unbox this so that it's completely organized and you're ready for your very first build. Let's do this. All right, so here is our box. We have unsnapped the packing cord and right on top, you'll have a insert. And on the front side is an indication to go to legoeducation.com start. We'll go through all those steps in our next video together. But on the other side of this is a great resource that's gonna show you exactly how your whole Spike Prime box should be laid out. Here's our insert that shows all the pieces that are gonna be inside this yellow tub. And this is a great resource to keep nearby so that you can look at it and so that you can orient your box to match it up as we lay everything out. So we have some empty trays that we'll take out and we'll set off to the side. And those empty trays are gonna match up with the insert. Here are all of our Lego pieces. You'll see right on the top you have some paperwork and that paperwork really can just be tossed in the trash. Um, you could save it for a couple weeks or so and then toss it, but we have absolutely thrown away all of our um, paper inserts that have been in there. And so you'll have just lots of bags in here. And the great thing is, is each of these bags is going to fit into one of your trays. The first thing we're gonna do though, is we are going to label all of our trays using the eight stickers so that it is easy to keep your kit organized so that when you are looking for a hard to find piece, you'll know exactly which bin you can find it in. So that sticker sheet is one of the first things that we are gonna use as we get your box ready and organized. So I like to lay the boxes out so that they match the picture. And then once I know they're matching the picture with that tall box on the top left corner, then I can start peeling off the stickers and placing them just inside of each tray. So you'll go through now and position all eight of your stickers inside these trays. And this is gonna make unboxing and staying organized super efficient. And there we go, it's gonna look just like that. Now we're ready to start pouring our Legos in and bag one, you can just take a look at it, you see there's people in it, it's gonna match up with box one. So go ahead and go through and you can cut open each bag and pour them in boxes one through eight. Bag two is gonna contain our colored bricks, ready to pour in. Next up is bag three. This contains lots of Lego Technic connector pieces. These teeny tiny pieces are some of the most common pieces that you're going to use. And there's a small black bag in there full of or a small bag full of little black connector pieces, go ahead and open those up and dump them out because you will use many of those for all of your builds. There we go, right into the tray. Next, we're gonna open up our fourth bag and this one has all of our axle pieces inside of it as well as some colorful wire connectors and it'll just pour right in and that first tray is complete. You can set that off to the side for the time being while we complete the next tray. If you haven't already done it, now's a great time to put these stickers on before we start unbagging bags five, six, seven, and eight. All right, bag five, or bag eight, those are our long beams. That'll go into that next corner. And then we have our connector pieces, bag five. These are usually our beams that have some sort of shape in them. Now we have a bag full of gears. It's bag seven, and there's a little box in here. There's some rubber bands inside of that. You can go ahead and open that up. And if you ever lose these rubber bands, we use regular rubber bands here at the Learning Lab instead of the yellow or the red rubber bands that Lego ships. Finally, we have bag six, and this bag has lots of little connector pieces in it. And there's one piece that is blue that you'll find. And there will be a kind of a mouse ball or a track ball that you are going to insert in there. So just pop that right in there. And that piece is ready to go. 
Now that you have your trays sorted and organized, you can set those just together. That's always gonna go at the top of your box, but we still have lots of unbagging to do. So go ahead and look into your tray, and we're gonna take out, probably the first thing that we'll do is just take everything out, and that way we can see it all, and we're gonna add things back into this box so that you know what comes at the bottom. And these are the same things that are listed on that insert, but not showing up on any of the trays. Things like your hub, some big frame pieces, just like those blue frames. Um, like I said, your hub, you'll unbox that. And this hub is the brain of your robot. This thing connects to your computer through Bluetooth or through a wire. It has all the energy, so here is our rechargeable battery. And this battery holds a really good charge. We have kids using our robotics kits really from eight in the morning until five at night, almost on a daily basis. And we can go a couple days before we have to charge it. But you're gonna want to line up your rechargeable battery and go ahead and place it inside of your hub. You can go ahead and put that into the yellow box or you could plug it into the wall right now and give that a nice full charge before you're ready to start coding. Speaking of charging it, you can take out your USB cord now, and it's great to have a pair of scissors for this. You can just cut that right open. And this is the cord that we use to charge the hub, as well as plug it into a computer if you want to update your hub. Now we have a few big components coming up and these are our motors. And so you'll end up with one large motor and two small motors. And you can open each of these up and then just drop them down into the yellow box. All right, it's a good idea to have a trash can nearby because we are gonna be opening up a bunch of little bags throughout this process. And the next thing that we have, this is our color sensor. This is a really neat little tool that can sense all the different colors you're gonna put those sensors down into the bottom of the box. Next up, this is our distance sensor. And this thing is great to tell if there is something within a few feet of your robot. Let's see, coming up next, we have our touch sensor. And this sensor has a little force sensor on the front. And so if you press down on that, you can press gently, you can press really hard. It has all sorts of functions in it. It knows how hard it's being pressed down upon. And so that is called a touch sensor that we have. A couple more things are gonna go into the bottom of this yellow bin, and that is going to be our just kind of bigger pieces. These pieces are great for decorating your robots, but you can dump that whole bag into your yellow tub. And then some more pieces. These are not all gonna go into the bottom of the tub. We are gonna cut this bag open and we'll be sorting this one out just a little bit with the wheels going down into the bottom of our yellow tub. And then you'll notice that these pink frames, they can go into the bottom of the yellow tub as well as some of the long pink pieces. But then we have some, I don't even know what these are, gray pieces, they'll go on the bottom. And then finally we end up with, this is kind of a long grooved bit. This is gonna go in with your gear pieces. And so you wanna drop that into the tray with the gear pieces so that whenever you're searching for them, it'll work together with the gears. And then we have some longer beams and those will go in your tray that just have straight beams all the way across. And so we have pretty much opened up just about everything. We should have just one bag left. You should probably have been throwing things away as you go. And this is bag 13. Now, bag 13, this is just extra pieces. I can tell you that we use our Lego Robotics Spike Kit with about 120 kids, and we've only had to get one or two pieces out of our, our bag 13. So bag 13, I wouldn't even open it up. It is just extra pieces for whenever you lose something. And so that's what the bottom of your bin should look like. You've got all your big pieces, and now we are ready to put our tray trays right on top. <clears throat> and you can save this sticker sheet. Um, these little stickers, we use them at the lab because we have multiple spike kits, and we like to know which box different sensors or different motors go to. You don't need to use 
these if you were just gonna have this spike kit at home and not take your robotic pieces out somewhere else. All right, we can put this sticker sheet away. You could save it for a little while. You may eventually decide to throw it away if it gets in the way. Go ahead and stack your trays into your yellow tub and then we will put the insert on top. I usually put it in so that I can tell what pieces are in this kit and we are ready. So you're ready now to watch our next video which is getting started with Spike Prime and that'll show you how to make your first connection to your computer, how to download the app, how to send code to your Spike Prime bot. But at this point you should have a completely unboxed Spike Prime kit and be ready to make the first connection to your computer.